I'd like to call the uh, Calhoun County Council April 22nd, 2024 meeting to order. <coughs> uh, Ms. Bunt, would you give us the invitation? Dear Father, as we meet today, we ask that you pour out your blessings upon our entire county. May your wisdom and guidance be with us, and may we be a source of hope and light to those around us. In your, in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I have a motion for approval of the agenda. So moved. Second. Proper move and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, likewise, the ayes have it. Uh, John, do we have any public comments? Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Philip Ford. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of council. Uh, my name is Philip Ford. Um, I am a resident of Calhoun County. Um, I live right on Bridge Street, um, and I am um, grateful to be here uh, today. I am also a candidate for House District 93. Um, I am running to help people. I don't think that's a partisan issue, um, so I'm grateful um, to be here with you all today. Um, I'm a small business owner. I've also served on the Orangeburg Calhoun Free Medical Clinic Board and the Tri-County Health Network. Um, many of you may remember the Tri-County Health Network during um, the pandemic and after did a lot of those food distributions over here on this space here. I was the one that um, secured those funds through um, my work at the Regional Medical Center to, um, to have those food distributions. And I'm, um, that's one of my uh, uh, very heartfelt causes is eliminating um, hunger in our communities. When we think about hunger, we think about it in third world countries, but um, in this area, we have one in four children um, going hungry. So I've been working um, with Republicans and Democrats in the General Assembly to um, address child hunger to expand school meals. Um, so we're seeing a lot more districts across the state um, uh, be able to have two meals a day during the school year. But um, I've been answering the call of service and I'm so grateful for y'all's work. Um, I've worked with Representative Ott um, to ensure when he has found out about citizens in Calhoun County who have needed um, health care that I got them linked up with the Orangeburg Calhoun uh, Free Medical Clinic. So I um, want to just tell you that if I'm elected, I, I hope to continue working with y'all. I know Russell has a great working relationship with you all and I, um, hope to have that same relationship um, uh, after November. Um, and I'm happy to take any questions from, from y'all. No, we won't, take, we won't give any questions about that. Good, good luck, Mr. Ford. Right, thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Mr. Al Jenkins. Way out of the agenda. Good evening, Council. Thank you for allowing me to speak. Um, I'm the Regional Director for U.S. Senator Tim Scott. Uh, just wanted to stop in and uh, definitely peek my head in the uh, office of the veterans. Um, just wanted to make sure passing through to keep in touch because we do do um, any veterans that have an appeal. Um, we do work with the, your vet veterans director here on appeal for veterans trying to make sure we get you um, the decision that as much as we possibly can that you deserve. I also want to um, congratulate the county on we have been reading and keeping up on the economic developments that announcement that you've had in uh, with the um, uh, recent you know construction and everything going on the senator we try I'm making sure I try to keep up with uh, making him aware of how well you're doing and just a great example of what a county can do when it's working to together also last week you know we had a truck fire on 95 um, I sat in that and that um, back up for about an hour and a half before I decided that, hey, I can go through Cal Calhoun County. <laughs> so thank you for a wide open road, beautiful scenery coming through uh, last Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you, Gail. Thank you for what you all doing. That's it, okay. Go ahead, it, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you all. Uh, I need a motion for approval of the minutes of April 8th, 2024. So moved. moved. Second. <clears throat> Property moving second. Any further discussions or corrections? All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, likewise, the ayes have it. 
Okay, we're down to appearances. No. No, I'm sorry. I'm down to appointment. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, the Planning Commission, Mr. Misha Gilmore from District 4. Who, That's my district. You want to? Yes. Oh, not, not just, um, I've been in communications with her. She seems very excited if, if y'all so see fit for her to be on the Planning Commission. Um, I, just, I would make that motion. I'll second it. Okay, proper move to second that, Ms. Tamisha Gilmore, uh, represent District 4 on the uh, planning, planning Commission. Any further discussion on that? All in favor, aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed likewise, the ayes have it. Okay, under appearances, no more appointments. We have Mr. Jason J. Mr. Jason, I'm going to let you pronounce your last name. We, know <laughs> we used to have it down in the South. We used to have it Smith and Johnson and Keller. And I, don't want, I did that one time before. It got real embarrassing to pronounce your name there. So we're going to let you. You're good, Mr. Chairman and, and Council. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be with you this evening. Uh, my name is Jason Giulietti. A lot of vowels in playing, playing uh, with fortune and uh, being good luck player. But certainly I'm excited to be with you, and I'm the uh, new president and CEO of the Central South Carolina Alliance, which is the regional economic development organization uh, that covers the central part of South Carolina, of which Calhoun County is a member and a long-standing member, and we greatly appreciate that. I'll give you a quick, I'm only going to take three or four minutes of your time, uh, I'll give you a quick background on myself. Most recently came from the state of Texas, where I was working in a similar type organization on a regional scale in between Austin and San Antonio, Texas. Uh, incredibly fast growing part of the country. We we're home to the fastest and third fastest counties in the country in terms of growth. So a lot of things changing, a lot of opportunity. Our job was to make sure there were jobs for those folks as well as jobs for the residents that were uh, born and raised there. Uh, I will tell you, uh, during my time there, we had significant, significant success. Uh, we had set closed several billion dollar deals, uh, brought more than just about 10,000 net new jobs to the community, and moved the income scale from a median level of roughly $6,000 during my tenure uh, in that space. So uh, not from not a stranger to economic development, been in for about 20 plus years of my career, pretty much my entire career has been in that space. Uh, love what I do for a living, love being part of regional groups. Uh, like being on kind of the public-private side and kind of its intersection between the two is where I find my strength. Uh, also wanted to mention that, you know, when I look at economic development, one of the most important things to me is that it's a team sport, which is why I like the regional approach. Uh, in our business, you're trying to find a solution for somebody, and the more opportunities and collaborations you have, the more you have a chance to win those opportunities. So being part of an eight-county collaboration uh, is truly special. So excited to be in that space with you guys here. Uh, lastly, on, on the economic development side, I really view it as not just a job, but a lifestyle. And why I share that with you guys is myself and my family are here, not from here, but we want to be part of the fabric of what makes this place special. So I've told every county that I've been in front of uh, that we want to be in your community, not just nine to five. I want to be in your community evenings, on the weekends. I want to know what's going on here, and we're going to make sure we prioritize being here with you guys to experience what it's like to live and to work in these communities. So I encourage you to share that with us, uh, share that with me. I want to get to know you guys just as much as I'm sure you want to get to know myself. Uh, but that's really, really important to me. So know that that is where we're invested in. We're not going anywhere. I have school-age kids. I told that to John. I will. Uh, I plan on being here for the foreseeable future. So uh, excited to be with you in that space. So as you know about Central being that eight county, it is the public-private partnership for the region. We're one of eight alliances in the state of South Carolina. We happen to be the largest. Uh, so we don't take that lightly. We truly want to make sure that we represent all of you. We don't want to, you know, give favoritism to anybody. Uh, recognizing the organization's had an interesting history, uh, coming in to really change maybe some of the past perceptions uh, of the organization and certainly strengthen every single one of our communities. So we've done a lot in my short tenure. I've been here since September, trying to really change protocols, change our mindset, change our internal culture, and change our relationships with our communities to make sure that we're truly being a resource to you guys. Uh, so in that, I'm gonna share real quick what our guiding principles are and will be going forward. The three big terms for me, authenticity, accountability, and transparency. Three things we will live by as an organization. We've already started to demonstrate that to our communities, and I hope John, who I've got to know quite well, 
uh, sees and experiences that, and hopefully it comes forward to you guys as well, uh, sitting in your seats that you do with the last elected officials. Our priorities for this year, and when I say this year, it's 2024. Uh, as I level set everything, we'll kind of refine those into, into more metrics, but for now, it's about engagement. It's making sure all of our communities, the residents here, others in the business community truly see and are engaged in the economic development activity to bring more jobs, more opportunity to the local folks here in our communities. Secondly, we take a very team-centric approach. Uh, we've really brought the economic development partners, administrators, and others to the table and really soliciting their feedback. Where are the gaps in their teams and their resources to make sure that we provide and fill those spaces for our communities? And then last, one of the things I'm finding most fascinating is we don't really tell the story about what's great about this area of the country, of this part of the state. So we're going on a pretty large tour now to go and tell the world what's special about this part of South Carolina. So we've hired a national public relations firm, and we're not doing it through paid media, not paying any money to go put ads in places people will never see. We're going to make sure we talk to the business community. I'd offer the same thing to you guys. If you know great things happening here in this community, share it with us, please. We want to get that story in the Wall Street Journal. We want to get it in you know, magazines that go national and international in scope to let people see and feel and understand why this place is so great. So we're doing that. Those are our big three, three priorities for the, for the year with the goal of return on investment. And why I say that is you guys invest resources in this organization. We need to make sure we demonstrate to you that every penny you give us is well spent and produces the outcomes you want to see. So you will hear me talk about those guiding principles, that return on investment constantly. I know John has heard it for me quite a bit. Uh, our investors uh, expect that of us, both on the public and private side, and we will continue to do that. So as we do that, I just wanted to leave that with you. That's who we are, that's who I am. Uh, excited to be part of this community, and certainly part of the central part of South Carolina. And we'll do all we can to continue to make sure that we bring more jobs to the residents that you guys represent. And I'm happy to answer questions. I try to keep it brief for you guys, uh, but certainly can go into any detail that, that you guys want. Anyone with any questions or comments uh, for Jason? No, I do not. I'd just like to say uh, I know some of you uh, haven't been sitting up there a long time, uh, but certainly uh, it is nice to have Jason. The, the, the re, he's rejuvenated, I guess, the eight counties uh, from an economic development standpoint. Uh, very energetic, uh, a little too energetic sometimes maybe, uh, but, uh, but certainly it's good to have him on board. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Looking thank forward you. to it. Thank Glad you. to have you. Glad thank to have you, Jason. Uh, no more appearances. Uh, John, John, we're down to you. Down to you. All right, sir. Um, I've just got uh, two things here. Uh, first thing, uh, last Wednesday, uh, I want to thank the 38 volunteers and staff uh, who picked up 165 bags of trash along our county roads uh, in Calhoun County. Uh, 38 uh, individuals, 165 bags of trash. Uh, that's about where we've been in the past. Uh, certainly, like I've said before, we try to have this three times a year. Um, and uh, Palmetto Pride uh, will give us certain things to be able to put this on three times a year. So it's really not costing us anything. We're getting more and more of the citizens involved as I think they see county support uh, out there picking up. And I want to thank the staff as well. Um, and then, of course, the, the, the next thing is the Purple Martin Festival. Um, certainly um, another big festival. I don't ever know the numbers because they come in from everywhere, um, which is a good thing. Uh, this year, we had some different uh, attractions that I think brought more kids. Um, Dr. Tullock sent me a text this morning, said that the first grade was doing nothing but talking about the Purple Mart Festival uh, in class today. So that's the kind of thing that I think, that's the reason why we have it, honestly, is for the kids. So as they get older, they'll remember back and hopefully keep this going. Um, I want to thank, there's so many people, and I know I'm going to forget, but ultimately, uh, all the staff that volunteered their time, their Saturday, their Friday, their Sunday morning picking up trash. Um, I want to thank the, the Gresset family for using their property. I want to thank Luther Wanamaker and Robert Etheridge for using uh, their property on the other side for parking. Um, and then also the town council. 
Uh, we've been working good together as far as this event, Friday night and Saturday night. We support each other. Um, and so, yeah, I just uh, I want to thank everybody that uh, was involved, Dominion Energy, all the vendors. Uh, we have more vendors than we've ever had before. And, of course, they're ready for the 4th of July event now. So um, I just want to thank everybody for, for a great day. And that's it, Mr. Chair. Okay, anybody else got any comments? I'd second that. Thanks to all the volunteers. I mean, that, that wouldn't have, couldn't have done it without the volunteers that stepped up. Thank you. Yeah, thank a great event, John. Appreciate what y'all done. Mm -hmm. Thank yes, you. Uh, nothing else from uh, the administrator. We have one item for executive session, uh, contract matter, Lake Marin Regional Water Authority. Are we going to bring anything out? Of, no, sir. We won't bring anything out of the press except one way to round. We won't. You bring it anything out. I want to thank everyone for coming. Uh, I have a motion that we go into executive session. Mr. Chairman, I move that we go into executive session for a contract for a matter involving Lake Marion Regional Water Authority. We have a second. Second. Property movement second. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, likewise. I want to thank everyone for coming, and uh, y'all come back to see us. Yeah.